Welcome to Wednesday Wheelchair Chat. And I was just thinking about, um, you know, the, the difficulties that we run into as, as wheelchair users and the, <laughs> the crazy solutions we give them. <laughs> But it's it's true, you know, we <laughs> we have all these recipes that we use. But it doesn't it doesn't mean that you can't come up with something new. That you can't come up with something innovative, you know, to be able to close a door better or to deal with the Karen's out there or to deal with you know, people who come up with bizarre statements at you when when you're out with your wheelchair. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't be imaginative and come up with your own solutions. True that at the beginning we're looking all over the place for for solutions. We're looking for the next person to to let us know, okay, Lisa, I got this wheelchair. And I've been in the wheelchair. I struggle a lot with opening doors. So how do you do it? You know, we learn from each other, which is very true. And it just it just helps us get to the solutions a little bit uh, quicker and with a solution that's going to help us like right then and there because we're already frustrated. <laughs> we're already frustrated. So but I'm saying that of all these things, all these resources that I put out there um, and all these answers uh, that I put out there, you know, answering uh, a question that you might have, uh, it doesn't mean that if you come up with something uh, better um, that you also share that so that, you know, we can do things differently and smarter. So. You know, it's it's a matter of of all of us growing into uh, you know tighter skills or better skills or quicker skills. Um, but you know, that's that's what I've been thinking of. You know, I try to answer you know what I've learned from others and and what. What, what I've enjoyed, what I've, you know, it's been able to be easier for me to, uh, you know, I remember just opening doors was really difficult. Um, and, and so I had to look up some videos and, you know, I learned from manual wheelchair users because they're really skillful at opening <laughs> doors. <laughs> So yeah, I've I've watched I watched manual wheelchair users opening doors, and then I tried some of those skills uh, for myself, and and they really worked. I think I think for power manual wheelchairs, our footstool, our footrest. I'm sure. I'm sorry, the the footrest comes out a little bit farther uh, than on a manual wheelchair. So so it hits the door quicker, and so we have to angle ourselves a little bit more to be able to open a door uh, that's in front of us. <laughs> so but, you know, one of these days I'll put out a video for a manual and power wheelchairs on how to open doors in a safe way. Um, my bedroom door is a good one to practice with because it does have a spring on it. And I'll show you, it's a, it's a small spring. Uh, and so I don't have to worry about closing it. Because that's the other skill that you need to be able to reach <laughs> the knob and close the darn door. <laughs> but there's some tricks to that. And uh, I learned a, f a few of those tricks to be able to just grab onto a, a string uh, or yarn that I've tied to the door. And uh, then I can pull it closed. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, so there's all these kind of tricks that we learn from each other, which is good. You know, we're a supportive community and um, we don't want someone struggling with something that we struggled with for quite a while until we found a video. Somebody said, oh, go to XYZ channel and you'll see how, how to do it. So, 
And you know, the other thing that's happening in the community, which I've already talked about in another video, is the darn rejection of service dogs in, in restaurants and stores and other facilities. And that drives me crazy. You know, the law is there. So people, watch out. The law is there, it's on our side, and it allows us to go with our service dogs wherever the public goes. So, and in zoos, you know, Snowy was telling me, well, you know, they have certain areas in the zoos where, y where you can go with your service dog. Um, you know, and that depends on what you want to do, what you feel comfortable doing, uh, and going in only certain sections of the zoo, or, you know, uh, having your service dog have a play day <laughs> for you to go to the entire zoo. But, you know, if you are blind, you know, is a zoo a fun place to go? I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so, you know, I'm sure blind people go to the zoo uh, as well. You know, blind people also have some, some residual uh, eyesight, most of them. So, you know, they might enjoy going to the zoo. Uh, I'm deaf myself and, you know, I can see everything, but you miss the sounds and sometimes some sounds will not register for me. And uh, so the zoo, I'll miss some of those high pitch sounds that birds make um, or other animals make, monkeys make. And uh, I'll have to stand there quite a while to be able to pick it up and uh, to be able to hear uh, what they're saying. <laughs> Not that I understand it, but <laughs> so, you know, in the world of disabilities, we, we all have ways of solving uh, our, our problems, our issues, and, you know, I, I think that's important to stick together, uh, to be able to support each other, and, you know, I, I can just say, you know, if you see someone entering the, the restaurant with a service dog, and, um, you know, they're struggling a little bit to get in because the waitress doesn't know that the laws that are on the books, you know, support them and say, hey, the ADA supports them going into restaurants. Um, it, it's a law and they, they can come in. You, you, the only question you can ask is what does this uh, service dog do for you? And then, you know, they'll, they'll tell you. So they can't talk about their ass about their disabilities or anything like that. There's no certification, there's no registration for service dogs, there isn't. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> so, um, so it's just those tangled things that we constantly, every day, have to uh, work out. You know, and sometimes we'll run into a, a new problem that a wheelchair user hasn't you know, come up with yet, and so, um, or they'll find a new solution, you know, as I said before, uh, but, you know, there could be a new problem that we haven't encountered. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, if we find a solution, <laughs> please share it. <laughs> and a problem. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, it's, it, it's life. It's life in a wheelchair. Um, I don't use the wheelchair 100%, uh, but uh, when I do, when I'm out there and trying to get through doors and uh, trying to find a spot at the conference table, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff, or at a restaurant, you know, uh, it feels a little embarrassing for all these people to jump in and try to help you. It's like, woo. <laughs> Like it's okay, folks. <laughs> Don't panic. <laughs> I can move the chair <laughs> as long as it's not too heavy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know, it's it's just some of that and all of that. You know, I I'm hoping to get some tools today that will help me uh, film. You know, going through doors. Uh, and there's a couple of different doors here in the uh, in the agency the the, the institution. They will help me show you how to get through a door. Um, and, and there's some others that I can demonstrate uh, without having to go all the way through the building. <laughs> no, but there's one I know I would have to do it by hand. 
Uh, it has one of those bars you have to push. It's a push bar. So uh, that would be good to, to show how to get through there. And uh, what I ordered from Amazon, they were having a free, no, not a free, but reduced prices. So I found a microphone that seemed like it was pretty good. So I ordered it, and so now I just have to hold my phone, and then I can show you how, you know, I open all these doors uh, to enjoy life. <laughs> I'll go outside for a while. So, but life is possible. No matter what disability you have, life is possible. And uh, life can be enjoyed uh, no matter what the disability is, whether you're blind, whether you're deaf, whether you're uh, an amputee, whether, you know, life can be enjoyed. I think that, you know, the, the, the it gets dark when you isolate yourself a bit. So, uh, so it's important really to, to find others who uh, need that support, that guidance, those ideas, um, and some fun time to just enjoy a day, just to go out and just buzz around, uh, go to the movies. I was looking at the movies at my theater, and <laughs> pretty boring, <laughs> boring. So I might have to wait a couple of days, a couple of weeks until they get something fresh in there. Um, but yeah, it's pretty boring. So, um, But it doesn't mean I can't go to the mall and maybe have an ice cream or something, an ice cream cone, and, and just sit around and listen to the sounds, watch people, and then come home. <laughs> Doesn't mean I can't do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I might do that one of these days. So, so that's what I wanted to say, basically, that disabilities are possible. There are skills already that have been invented uh, to make things easier for you, and, and that's what I hope to uh, put on my channel. My name is Lisa, by the way. <laughs> I'm a social worker. <laughs> Even though I'm in a wheelchair, you know, I want to provide as much as I can, as much information as I can to all of you. Uh, the skills that I've learned and, um, and the skills that, you know, I might need to learn here and there to, to bring it to you. And... Um, so to, to make life a little bit easier for you and for me. Uh, so this is a Wheelchair Wednesday chat, and we, we bring our, our reflections, some thoughts to the table for uh, Wednesdays. And so uh, the reflection today is basically, you know, let's help each other. And l any ideas that you have, uh, share them. And... You know, if you have uh, something new that you discover, feel free to share it because that helps someone else. That helps, you know, the wheelchair community. That help us helps the, the people with disabilities out there that might need that skill, might need that idea to be able to get through an issue. <laughs> All right. Take care, everyone. And I'll definitely see you in the next video. <laughs>